Hey! Any fish? It's the 17th of December 2018. And uh, just more crazy things, you guys, that have just come in front of me. And I can't explain a lot of it, but I tell you, there is definitely something interesting going on here, okay? Um, yesterday I saw this article about Trump. He made a surprise visit to Arlington Cemetery on Saturday. Uh, unscheduled, nobody knew, except one news outlet, Fox News. They were alerted, and if you notice this, okay, they put it out as an alert. There is nobody. He's got a guide and two Marines. This this was interesting, and this was for a wreath-laying uh, situation, if you will. And there's so much we could get into here, it's crazy. My brain is just overflowing. And the wreaths we could get into, which is literally a diadem, that's what it is, a crown. That's what a wreath is originally, you know, that's what it is. And and notice, when Trump arrives, I mean, the minute he arrives, 2.22 p.m., okay? And that just made me think of the other day when we were looking at all the uh, the solstices and whatnot, and how... You know, in New York, it'll be at 522, but in Jerusalem, it's actually on the 22nd at 1222. So 1222, 1222. Very interesting stuff. So he makes this surprise visit. Fox is the only one that is alerted to it. Okay, you got to think about that. And it's 33 days to the day from when he was in Paris that he was supposed to visit the cemetery in France and canceled because of rain. Notice that it's raining like crazy when he visited on Saturday as well. Just just weird things, you guys. But 33 days to the day later, month and three days. At the same time, this is so weird, right? You remember back on the 11th as well, there was a strange wave that rippled around the world, right? November 11th, just before 9.30, there was a wave that lasted around 20 minutes. No one can explain it. It's a huge puzzle to these people. And I've showed this before, that this wave was going in a 17-second interval. And it did it 70 times, 70 17s on November 11th, okay? The same day that they were at this Paris Peace Accord Forum and celebrating the end of World War I, which ended in 1919, okay? On the very same day, you guys, you're going to love this. I can't help but look at these slides. Look at this one. Bringing together global governance actors for three days. The actors at the Paris Peace Forum. Okay, I digress. 33 days later, Trump visits the cemetery. On the same day Trump visits the cemetery, get a load of this. U.S. returns looted bells to Philippines. This is just so loaded, you guys. I can't, I can't even explain to you. After 117 years. Okay, it was in 1901 that they looted these bells. You see a pattern here? And 117 years later, you'll see where that pattern comes in in a minute. Okay, so I see this and I'm watch I'm just kind of looking around, you know, I want to see, you know, is the world all yapping about this? How big a deal is this? And so not not really just a few articles on it. Uh, Trump makes surprise 15-minute trip to Arlington. And there, there are things that popped out to me about this whole thing. He's also planning a trip to Mar-a-Lago for Christmas, which they have restricted the airspace down there in Florida from the 21st, the solstice, through January 6th. Very interesting, okay? But what really got me was, okay, 16, there's a 7. 33 days from 1111 to the to the cemetery and the bells in Philippines three bells Philippines I, I still 
I still can't get over this because I just know that there is such a, a spiritual message here. I just can't seem to wrap my brain around it all the way. But 33 days between the two and seven days later is the solstice, right? Well, it'll be the 22nd. And I'm looking at the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, all the way through Christmas. It's just insane time. Any minute, anything, be ready. Okay? So, seven days later, he'll be in Florida on the solstice from here. Now, where this goes is very interesting because I was looking at this image. And I can't help it. I pull in the image and the only headstone that is readable is this one right here with the Christian cross on it. Albert Barnes Lanier Jr. Okay, so I'm just pushed to go enter that into um, the Gematria. That's what I'm led to do. So I do it, right? And it's pretty incredible stuff. And I'm looking at the English, the six count. That's what I look at. It's interesting that the 24 is very prevalent in both of them. That's that's not normal, so to speak. But look at this, 1224, Christmas Eve. It's also just godly numbers. 12, the perfect government. 24 is directly related to the priesthood. Okay, and we could also look at some deeper stuff in it. But I'm going to just leave it right there for now because the way this connects to other stuff is crazy. The 1224, how this came to me is beyond me, but the 1224 is exact a match for Feast of Trumpets, okay? Which in the Jewish is 923, okay? 923, 2017, we had Revelation 12 sign. She had 12 stars on her head. I, I can't even tell you how deep this goes. My brain can't process it, to be quite honest with you. But we look at 923 up to the 24th. I mean, we can look at so many various things. But just the simple fact that those two matched and it led to the 923, which if we do do that, I'll just go there because it's too much to, to remember here, you guys. There really is. But to from the 923 to the 22nd, and that's important to me because of the solstice. we got to remember that in Jerusalem, the solstice is on December 22nd at 1222. That's bizarre. 1222 at 1222. So that's where I go, is to 1222 from the 923. 455 days, 65 weeks. A ton we could do with this. In the concordance here, G455. Anoigo. Very interesting word here. To open up. Literally, figuratively. Okay? Seriously, this is like a, a reversal. It's, it's an important word, and when you see how it's used, I'll leave that to you, but it occurs 77 times. The seven keeps popping up. Okay? So, it's seven days after the visit to the cemetery that he will be uh, in Mar-a-Lago for the solstice. Okay, and I'm, when I'm looking at these articles, it causes me to just think that this is just... I, I wish I could explain this stuff better to you guys. Between the Mar-a-Lago, okay, 16 days, you could look at that as an 88 or a 7 if you like. But the surprise visit to the cemetery... And literally, it just comes into my mind. Mar-a-Lago surprise. And the fact that he's going there on the solstice, right? Mar-a-Lago solstice surprise. This is just how weird my brain works, you guys. Okay? So I punch it in there because I have to. And it's pretty amazing because, you know, we can look at this Jewish number. And in fact, we're going to because what it relates to is very interesting. H1171. And it's Balgad. Okay? It is literally the Phoenician deity Balim. Baal. Baal of fortune. Okay? But if we go and look at the 1770, you need to remember the strange waves that went around the world. The 1770s. This is just really amazing stuff, you guys. The 1770s. 70s around the world. This is National Geographic 
It'll be linked in the description box. But think about that. Mar-a-Lago Solstice Surprise, the 1770, okay? And the 1171 is Baal, Balaam, right? But this is what really kind of wrapped it up for me. The fact that 1770 is the exact match for President Donald John Trump. So I know that there's something here. I know it's part of this spiritual warfare. I know that it's God working and giving us these tidbits to, to just feed us. And we always have to refer to the word, always. Because, you know, that verse that I got today, it, to me, is extremely meaningful. And I, I really think people should consider, you know, what this says. Because there's nothing but truth here. Okay? For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and their lips honor me, they've removed their hearts far from me, okay? Because they're taught by the precept of men. You understand? We cannot be putting our trust in these men. As much as they may have a good intention, we pray for them. We, we pray for God to guide them and to do the right things and that they find Jesus and develop a relationship and that's all we can do that's all i can do but i mean this is just nutbag stuff and the fact that you know the the gematria and i'm not huge on gematria you guys i mean i use it but i'm not like a gematria nut and i only refer to the what i'm led to refer to uh, you know what i mean when he tells me the six count because that's how it was given to me in understanding you know, the Revelation tells us, count the number of the beast, which is the number of man, 666. This is exactly what you do with this type of gematria, the six count. And 1224 is a pretty crazy thing to get from a tombstone. And it matches exactly with Feast of Trumpets. And that it's the date for Christmas Eve. I don't know. I just don't. But I have to share it. It's just... A thing that has to be done. The wreaths, the crowns. Revelation 12, she had a crown of 12 stars upon her head. The 12, the, it's, it's amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing to me. 33 days, all these things occurred. The bells in the Philippines. <laughs> it's just crazy, guys, and I just need to share it. For a happy Monday morning, you know what I mean? I pray y'all have a great week and peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 